Hi everybody, Kathy here from Kathy Loves to Scrap and I'm coming to you from the land down under. Today I'm joining in with all the other players for Tara's The Paper Snobs 1000 subscriber hop and giveaway. This is the mood board that she's inspired us with, some stitching, some favourite colour, buttons and some flowers and this is the layout that I've created to help celebrate Tara's wonderful achievement of 1000 subscribers. Tara is known as the paper snob and all her details will be below. As you can see um, I'm using two photos here. These are of my daughters. They are five years apart. One was in 2017, one in 2023 where we went to the movies for the first one and the stage production for the second one of Beauty and the Beast. Now the mood board had some film strips on it so I'm using some die cuts of film in it. Um, it also had all of these colours in the mood board so I'm incorporating this wonderful Vicky Burton paper, the Colour Rush, absolutely one of my favourite um, of her collections and I'm going to use these to build up the base from which that layout is created. Now I will have at the end some stills for you to capture and look at and copy. Please do um, if anything takes your fancy. I'm all going to start by cutting out my uh, frame for this layout. I always gut the middle if I'm intending to use the cardstock which I do on this layout. I then am taking a quarter of an inch off both sides uh, to make my background and I'm going to incorporate two strips of the flowers uh, which is a requirement of the layout and then I'm putting in the backing of that sheet just as a contrast. So uh, I love Vicky Booten papers, they're nice and bright, they're very colourful and thankfully they match the colour board this time round which is very helpful and they also match my photos and make this layout really pop which is something that I like to achieve and working with beautiful papers make that possible. So I'm just putting down the pieces that I want onto this layout as my background and as you can see I have flowers in that paper there and I'm putting down two strips of it and that's creating a um, landing place for my photos by having these uh, cross knots and crosses added in across the page. So I have the two photos as I said um, and I have mounted them on my favourite colour which is yellow. So I've incorporated that part of the recipe requirement. Uh, the photo is a little bit too big so I'm just going to trim it down and it just shows that you know you play with your layout until you get it happy a happy measure now I was going to double um, map both photos but as you can see I miscalculated and cut the blue a little bit too short so I'm only going to double mount one of them but that's okay it makes um, it stand out a little bit to the side and I like the fact that I have a colour and a black and white photo as a contrast. So I'm just going to layer up all of my embellishments now and as I said the film strips was, I took the inspiration from the mood board and I'm having two different types go in, one as my uh, cluster focus and the other as just a um, border or framing of my photo. Uh, cut them both from um, my die cutting machine and they are just building up as I said a cluster base here and a cluster base there using the photo uh, using flowers as per the requirement and also buttons so I've used buttons as the center of these daisy flowers. I also inch the edge of these flowers to give them some definition and make them stand out from the base. So I'm just layering them up here and finding the correct placement and I've also have a die cut of Lumiere that I wanted to add in to show that it's from Beauty and the Beast. So I've gone off screen and I've um, stuck all that down now and I have die cut the letters that now say stage and film uh, which I'm using to highlight that these photos were taken at two different types of the same um, concept which was Beauty and the Beast and of my daughters the uh, youngest one there in this left hand photo you can see is now the tallest of the three of them in the right hand photo so it's a, it, always a good idea to have a look at a then and now photo to see how much they change over time 
and also the only thing is they they are very very different girls uh, but which is also quite fascinating when you think about how they've all been brought up the same way with the same experiences yet they end up to be very different personalities so uh, the other requirement of this uh, recipe for Tara's hop is to include some stitching either faux or real and I always opt for the faux because that's time um, that I have on my hands and sometimes I'll sew real but mostly I'll do a faux so I'm setting up two different styles here of running stitch one that's filled and one that's loose um, I'm also going to add in my favorite color with the Nuvo drops uh, therefore I have met all of the uh, requirements of Tara's recipe it has been a great recipe to work with I love working with a good mood board and the prompts have been fantastic so you can see here all of the details. I have stills followed wing this so that you can uh, stop and capture and uh, choose to lift or look at in more detail parts of this layout. Uh, thanks for um, stopping by and looking. Thanks for celebrating Tara's thousand subscriber celebration hop with me. Don't forget to check out the playlist below with all the people playing along and supporting Tara. Give her some love. Let her know that we appreciate all of her wonderful achievements. A thousand subscribers. That is massive. Uh, well done, Tara. You are well deserving of achieving that many subscribers. Very talented scrapbooker. Thanks for looking. Um, I hope there's something here that inspires you to get creative. I hope there's something here that you may want to copy or even add to a layout in the future. Remember to check out Tara. She is doing a giveaway. Um, 1000 subscriber hop as I said. Amazing achievement. I'm Kathy from Kathy Loves to Scrap coming to you from Land Down Under. Give me a thumbs up if you liked something on this layout. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow as well. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. YouTube likes it when you interact with our videos. I'm Kathy Loves to Scrap. Find me on all my socials under that tag, including Instagram, where all my layouts end up, even those without a video. Thanks for watching. Happy scrapping. Till next time.